Sean Knoll is choosing to rebuild. Just a matter of time and, and, and waiting and you know, it'll, it's gonna be just basically a new adventure, a new chapter in, in our lives. After a fire last Friday destroyed everything but the structure of his home. Uh, everything's gonna be torn down to the studs um, and then it's gonna be replaced with new sheetrock, new lighting, new outlets. He was at work when the fire started, with his kids calling about a vacuum cleaner's lithium ion battery combusting on the charger. I was shaking, uh, I, was, I was panicking, because uh, there was literally nothing I could do. His kids were okay, but he lost two of his four cats. In the moment the marshal took me in and walked me through all the rooms, that's when it really hit me like, wow, I just, I really just lost everything. As lithium ion batteries become more widely used, Daniel Mahano with the Electric Safety Foundation says these kind of fires are becoming more common. In some states, it's the leading cause of fires within cities. Mahano says it's important to be wary of aftermarket batteries and chargers, which may not have the same safety certifications as reputable brands. Making sure that they under they stand behind their product, because sometimes when you buy things online, even from large name retailers, they may have third party sellers using those platforms. Mahano also says if a battery is no longer being charged, it should be disconnected and unplugged. And recycling the batteries at authorized centers after use is important as well, since they can be fire risks just sitting in the trash. So you want to make sure you're using a charger that's manufacturer approved. Same with the battery, you want to make sure it's approved by that manufacturer. What happened to Sean is a tragedy, but he hopes it will serve as a warning to others. Don't let this happen to you and just keep an extra eye on your devices and make sure they're, you unplug them when they're fully charged. He says thankfully the community is there to help him rebuild, with clothes, food, and a GoFundMe fundraiser organized by his sister. A link to the GoFundMe can be found inside this story on CBSAustin.com. Reporting in Leander, Andrew Freeman. CBS Austin News. Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and get the latest news by downloading the CBS Austin News app.